Hello everyone, this is Noble H. and today we are here with another main association of math leaks problem from February 2015, round, no, meet four, round two, logs and log equations, problem three. Log of a equals 2x plus 1, log of b equals 2x minus 1. Find all values of x such that log base b of a minus log base a of b equals a over b. This problem has a lot in it, so let's just take it one step at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is, since we need to solve for x, I'm going to get everything in terms of x. So first let's look at the left side. If we have log base b of a and log base a of b, then using the, using the change of base formula, we can change that to log a over b, because log base b a is log of a over log of b, and then minus log of b over log of a, because log base a of b is log of b over log a. So you have to know the change of base formula for logarithms to do this problem. And then we substitute. So log of a is 2x plus 1, and log of b is 2x minus 1. And now everything is in terms of x. So now we have the left side in terms of x. Now on the right side, we have a over b. So we need to know what a and b are. If we have log of a equals 2x plus 1, then you s take 10 to the power of both sides to get rid of the log, and you get 10 to the 2x plus 1 equals a. And for b, you also get 10 to the 2x minus 1 equals b. So that, that's the one thing you have to know for mammal. Whenever you see log of something and they don't specify a base, they almost always mean base 10. In fact, I even if you're not sure, you should assume that it's base 10. Because here, they never said that was base 10, but in order to solve this problem correctly, you have to assume that it's base 10. And then you substitute. So a over b is 10 to the 2x plus 1 over 10 to the 2x minus 1. Um, subtract the exponents. So it's 2x plus 1 minus, in parentheses, 2x minus 1. That simplifies to 2, so it's 10 squared, which is 100. And then, we set the left side equal to the right side, and we get this equation. 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 minus 2x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 equals 100. So we want to get rid of the denominator. So here we have a 2x minus 1 denominator, and we have a 2x plus 1 denominator. So we multiply both sides by the product of those denominators, since that's the least common multiple of them. So on the left side, the 2x minus 1 cancels, and then on this fraction we get 2x plus 1 squared. On this fraction, the 2x plus 1 cancels, and then we get 2x minus 1 squared. And on the right side, we just have 100 times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Now on the left side, we have a difference of squares. So it's in the form of u squared minus v squared. To factor that, we want to put it as u plus v and u minus v. So we get 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 1, so I added them. And then 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 1, so I subtracted them. So this and this difference of squares are the same thing. And then on the right side, we have um, 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1, so we use the difference of squares formula to distribute. So 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 is 2x squared minus 1 squared, which is 4x squared minus 1. So you can use either FOIL or you can use the difference of squares formula to do the right side. But for the left side, it's a lot easier to do the difference of squares. For both sides, it's a lot easier to use the difference of squares formula. So that's what I did there. And then we simplify. So 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 1 is 4x. 2x plus 1 minus, in parentheses, 2x minus 1 is 2. And then distribute the 100. So you get 400x squared minus 100. 4x times 2 is 8x. So that's what I did there. And then to make things simpler, we want to divide both sides by the GCF of all of the terms, which is 4. So divide both sides by 4. 2x equals 100x squared minus 25. And then we have a quadratic, so we set things equal to 0 by subtracting both sides by 2x. So you get 0 equals 100x squared minus 2x minus 25. And then we use the quadratic formula to solve the quadratic. So it's um, that, all of this. And there's a lot in here. So we want to simplify things step by step. So here we have minus negative 2. I'm going to change that to a positive 2. 
negative 2 squared. I'm going to change that to 4. And then here, we have minus 4 times 100 times negative 25. That's a double negative, so I'm going to change that to a plus sign. So all of that is just one step right here. And then here we have 4 in both terms under the radicand. So you see 4 plus 4 times 100 times 25. We factor out a 4, and then once we factor out a 4, we can take the square root of 4 and make it a 2. So it's 2 plus or minus 2 times, and then it's the radicand without the 4. So it's 1 plus 100 times 25. So the 4 gets factored out and becomes a 2 out of the square root. So that's what I did there. And then here, we have a 2 in the denominator and a 2 in both of the terms of the numerator. So we reduce the fraction. So it becomes 1 plus or minus square root all over just 100. And then finally, we simplify the radicand. So 1 plus 100 times 25 is 1 plus 2500, which is 2501. So we get 1 plus or minus the square root of 2501 all over 100. And that is our answer. So yeah. So this, I think, was a really good problem because it showed us a few things. It showed us A, how to use the change of base formula. B, assume that if you don't have a base, then assume the base is 10. C, um... Solve literal equations with fractions. D, use the quadratic formula and s use simplifying tricks to make things easier. So there, there's like four different skills in this problem, which is why I really like this problem. And yeah, there are also different logarithm equations if we go back up. Um, here is a logarithm equation with two different bases, log 8 and log 4. Um, here's a logarithm equation. Oh, there, it's all fives, so this just turns out to be a quad. No, it turns out to be a cubic. If you do it out, I think. So that's probably interesting. Um, this has a log squared. And then x squared, so this could get kind of confusing. And this, this is more basic. It's kind of a squared problem, which is probably turns into quadratic. And then this is just all of them are log fives which should turn out to be a quadratic. So yeah, I think there are quite a few interesting problems in this round. I think, at least in my opinion, this is like probably a harder round, at least for me. Um, so yeah, I suggest that you do some of the other problems. But I hope you like this problem, because I thought this was really the most interesting one here. And have fun doing math!